Today we're going to demonstrate the AcoM AT100, starting with what's in the case. We have a rugged industrial case, we have an industrial grade tablet, and two alignment sensors. These sensors are mounted on ready to use chain brackets, along with charging cables and charging block for the wireless sensors and tape measure. Additionally, magnetic fixtures are available for the sensors. Next, we'll do an alignment with the AT100. Okay, now that we have our pre-alignment steps completed, we're gonna do a full alignment on this machine with the AT100. Before we get started, one thing I'll note here is that the orientation of the picture on the screen is really from my perspective on this side of the machine. But with the little screen flip here, we can reorient that picture so that it's oriented to the camera. This is helpful to the user who may need to work on either side of the machine. Again, also with ease of use, our guide you is simply a philosophy that each next step is highlighted for you. In this case, the green and glowing icon is the next step. So the first thing we'll do is measure the dimensions of the machine. 160 from the M sensor to the center of the coupling is 100. From the M sensor, the, that's the sensor on the movable machine, from it to the front feet of the or motor is 100 millimeters, and from front feet to rear feet is 180. Once we have our dimensions in, we select a tolerance. Shaft alignment tolerances are more precise the faster the machine rotates. So we'll select the 3,000 to 4,000 tolerance and we're ready to take our measurements. We hit the measure icon. Again, it's highlighted as the next step. And we need to take three measurements, starting anywhere, stopping anywhere, um, but not requiring a full rotation of the shaft. You notice if you get outside the red zone, it allows me to take my next set of measurements. So we'll complete the measurement with the third and final measurement. And once we have our measurements, we'll start making adjustments. Once again, everything's color coded. So we have orange and red and green indicating whether it's in tolerance or out of tolerance based on the tolerance that we selected. But first, for reporting purposes, we'll give this alignment a name. This is how we found the machine, so we'll call this one initial. This data is saved so that you can present it in a report later. And then again, you see the shim icon is highlighted indicating that's my next step. We'll do what we call a vertizontal adjustment, meaning we'll loosen the bolts one time, make a shim adjustment in the, in the vertical, and make a horizontal adjustment and then the alignment will be completed. So as you can see here, we have um, an indication to add shims, adding 0.35 to the front feet of the motor and adding 0.65 to the rear feet of the motor. So now I can begin making my adjustments. Now my vertical shim adjustments are made. We'll move to a horizontal adjustment. As you'll see, these numbers are live, and so the scale of the yellow arrows guides you as to how much adjustment to make and where. So I'm using my small pry bar on this side of the machine uh, just to nudge it, hopefully just a little at a time so that when I get to my alignment position, I don't go too far. Now that we've tightened our bolts back down, we can remeasure to verify our alignment's complete. Once again, repeating the same process I had before. One, two, and three.
And as you can see, we have all green icons, meaning we've achieved the tolerance. And my last step here will be a documentation one. This is my final alignment. And then I go to create a PDF report with this. You can input a plant name, a machine name, a username, and a, a field for notes. But this is where we select the final and the initial alignment as What will go into our report? A PDF report is created with the image file for each of the results. And you could also include soft foot results um, in this report if you select it. So this completes our alignment with the AT100 with full documentation and PDF format, which then can be downloaded or emailed.